new week, a new recall effort. This time, LA City Councilman Mike Bonnet is the target. Organizers say they want Bonnet out in part over his handling of the homeless crisis in Venice. Bonnet is fighting back, however, and KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is live in Venice to explain just what happens next, Tom. Hi there, Pat. Good evening to you. Well, there, it's very clear here in Venice there is a lot of frustration and anger over the homeless crisis, but it's not clear if people here are ready to recall their councilman, Mike Bonin, but organizers are hoping to tap into that energy to get people to sign the petition. So you're being served with a notice of intent to recall. Okay, thank you. You bet. Have a better day. L.A. City Councilman Mike Bonin served with a recall notice, the first step toward a possible special election to remove him from office. Bonin has been drawing fire over his handling of the homeless crisis in his west side district. The 10 encampments in Venice have become a flashpoint. I would say that homelessness is part of it. Um, I mean, I think if you live in Venice, that's probably you know, a big part of it. Darren Reef Snyder is one of the recall organizers, and she says while the homeless crisis is a major issue, she also says Bonin has broken a slew of promises to his constituents. Every single thing that he can do wrong, he's done wrong, I feel like. Bonin would not do an on-camera interview with us, but says the recall is part of an attack on progressive leaders across the state. He released a statement that reads in part, this is an extravagant waste of taxpayer money and a thinly disguised attempt to derail my efforts to provide real solutions to our homelessness crisis. I will not be deterred in my efforts to tackle our toughest problems and will keep pushing for the big and progressive change that LA needs and deserves. Last couple of years, it's become unbearable. Johnny Brown has lived in Venice for 16 years. He's not sure where he stands yet on the recall, but he knows Venice is in crisis. I don't know what the answer would be. You know, do you just leave them alone? Do you let them stay there? Then you get the crime has risen. Uh, as you can see, it's expensive to live over here. You come out of your house, have a wife. I don't let her walk home alone from her job anymore at nighttime. The recall effort against Bonin is just one in a series from the state to local level. LA City Councilwoman Nithia Rahman also received notice last week. Professor of Political Science Fernando Guerra says he does not expect the Bonin recall effort to succeed. The next step is that they have to collect 27,000 signatures, which is 15% of the registered voters, which is actually a little bit higher a degree of difficulty than the recall for the governor. Guerra says while this may look messy, it is democracy in action. Democracy is never efficient. Uh, democracy oftentimes doesn't make sense. And so I am very much uh, supportive of the idea that people can initiate a recall at any particular time. On the other hand, I agree there's never a perfect time for a recall. Recall organizers have an uphill battle, but there is a lot of frustration out there that's motivating voters. This is so sad. Um, I don't agree with his approach to it, and I feel like we got to find some better approaches. Okay, so here's what happens next. If the recall organizer's paperwork passes through the city, it would give them about 120 days from probably July to collect those 27,000 signatures. It is a high bar. Here's another interesting fact about this. If they were to get enough signatures, the actual vote for this would come about a month before the actual election for Bonin for running for his third term. So it would be coming very close in that election. It would be very expensive. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.